Right guys, Mark Crossford here. Today I'm going to give you a compare of the Mizuno JPX 850 driver, the blue one, the one I used to use, against the Mizuno JPX EZ. So the new grey one, slightly different size head shape. Um, let's show you how close or far apart these two clubs are, which might give you a better idea which one to try and even go for. Let's get stuck in. Right, so we're going to hit some shots with the Mizuno JPX 850 and I've also got the Mizuno JPX EZ. So contrasting differences in the looks. Um, you've got the striking blue, Mizuno blue, to the grey in the EZ. Both look very good, both coming with black faces. Similar kind of lines and graphics on the top of the head from the outside and the Running Bird logo in the middle. Now I've got the weight set in the most user-friendly position, so as far back as I can pull them from the face on both of these clubs. You get a little bit more adjustability in JPX um, 850 because you get two weights, so it allows you to push the weight forward, back, uh, toe and center, heel and center, where EZ, it's a simpler one weight system. Um, both have the very changeable neck. We're gonna use the same shaft on each, and I'm not sure what loft I'm gonna have set to the EZ yet, because I might need to change the loft of that to get it working as well as the JPX 850, which I know already works quite well for me because I've used it and it was a very good driver. Um, so let's give these two clubs a hit. We've got 440 head shape in uh, 850 where it's a 460 and a very big footprint in the EZ. So we're going to start with some shots with the blue one. I like putting this club back in my hand. I used it. I had good times with it. It is a fantastic looking driver. It's very neutral down by the ball. I've got it set down at 9.5 degrees of loft. Let's give you some numbers to show what they might do for you. Oh, I've blocked that one. Slightly heavy strike. It's not going to be my longest by a long way. Getting out there. So 249, you need a better strike than that. So let's give it another hit. See if I can get my normal shape on it, which will add some yards to it. Oh, slightly out the bottom. Better for direction. Tiny bit of draw spin, but it was out the bottom. So I imagine it'll be a fraction shorter. 250. So getting quite a bit of spin on those because I'm not getting my strike in the right place. Let's have another go. That was better. Higher on the face. Felt middle to maybe a fraction toe. Uh, but that should be up higher distances, I imagine. Lower spinning, I would guess as well. Yeah, 262. Right, if we look at the numbers there, so you can see I'm getting my 261. It averages down to on the carry there, around my 262K when I hit the uh, ball on the right place of the face. Look at the spin, look how it changes. So 2 1 is around where I want the spin. I can get this down at 1 8, so about 2 2. It's a good spinning club for me. Um, you can see how massively the spin changes, over a thousand revs, subject to, as I keep saying, my strike. Um, so let's see how this one compares. Really, out of that data, I'm going to compare it to that better hit. Um, let's see how it compares with the EZ. Right, so we're going to go JPX EZ now. I've got the same shaft going in. I've actually set this down at 8.5. It's a slightly more stretched back head, being the bigger head size, and they talk about the bigger footprint it has. And with the weight so far back in this one, I think it's going to maybe, we'll see what the data says, kind of average it out to where that uh, JPX 850 is. Same shaft, like I say, with the white shaft going into the gray head with the white Running Bird logo on top looks fantastic. It does look really, really nice. Sits lovely and square. Let's see what numbers I get out of it. So I caught that toe here. You can see it turning. I reckon that would be not bad for distance. It was slightly too toe -y. So that one's getting up there, I reckon. 255, not bad on that strike. Okay, let's give it another hit. Again, hit that quite nice. I do like the way this sits down by the ball, and I like it, it sounds so silly, just by putting this white shaft in it, makes it look so much nicer. Let's see where that one's going to. 260, it's very similar numbers, isn't it? Right, one more then. I mean, out of the two, it's very hard to choose on looks. That, the blue one obviously does look smaller down by the ball, which will appeal to certain people. This does look very, very nice. 
and feel of the face really isn't that different at all in the two clubs. Um, I'm looking forward to looking at the numbers together. There's not going to be much in this. Oh, I call that one slightly healy. So I might get a bit of a raise in spin, slightly shorter. Still done okay. 252 on the strike, not bad at all. There we go, three shots of each. You could hit more to find identical strikes, but I know what both of these are really doing for me. That's why you need to go and test for yourselves. But look, we're getting uh, averaging 255 and 253. Longest hit 260, longest hit 261. So when I max out with both drivers, say in today's performance, getting very, very close to each other on that carry. 2-6 spin down to 2-1. So the, eight, the uh, 850 and the 440 head for people looking to try and just bring spin down a little bit, 300 revs maybe, that one might just appeal for you a little bit more. But then you are going to sacrifice that bigger appearance, that kind of bigger profile which might inspire some confidence and might keep ball speeds up across the face kind of over a year of performance. Because different parts of the face are moving at different speeds, people ask me to test across the face, and it's very hard to do with a human because getting those delivery numbers that you see on the EZ up there, oh, on the 850, sorry, identical for two shots could take hundreds, if not thousands, of shots, subject to the accuracy of the machine's capture on that shot as well. Um, and just simply hitting it out of toe doesn't mean it's actually going to perform worse for lots of people, including me. It sometimes gets more ball speed because that part of the face is travelling faster, say, than the actual centre. Um, so much more complicated that than people think. I know it kind of baffles people, that one. You're looking at, I mean, the spins on those two are identical because of the range of strikes I hit. But on the two good hits, you're looking at around 400, 500 revs of spin, which is exactly where I would guess those two to be and exactly how they've been made to be honest. They've been made to account for maybe some different kind of launch profiles. Both performing well. I think if you want as much help as you want, or as you can get, easy. If you're looking just to fine-tune launch, squeeze a few more extra yards, subject to your strike, 850 might do it for you. Both look really good. Post comments down below with these two drivers you might try or not. I'd love to hear. Speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching. Post comments as always and see you soon.